Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to go over how to use the S video adapter from Mike Simone. I'll be using one of the active adapters using Mike Simone's reference design. The Mr. FPGA project recently added support for native S video output. That means that cores can now generate S video natively and the adapters designed by Mike Simone can help you connect to a television that has S video and composite ports. So what is needed to accomplish this? You need your Mr. Updated to the latest version. You also need to edit the Mr. INI file and make sure some options are set to enable S video. And you'll need an adapter based on Mike Simone's design. It is possible to use a group of off the shelf cables to accomplish this, but using one of these adapters will give you better image quality and you don't have to worry about a huge mess of cables. Let's now go over the software setup. To set this up, you need to make sure your Mr. is up to date. So run the update or update all script. Then you must edit the Mr. INI file and set the VGA mode option to S video. NTSC mode should equal to zero and composite sync should equal to one. If these options do not appear in your INI file, then you can add them manually. I'll also provide them in the description. After you reboot the Mr., you are now ready to connect some cables. Now let me go over the connection methods to achieve this. Here's the active adapter. To use the adapter, check the switches on it. This switch here is for identifying whether you are going to use an analog IO board or direct video. Set it to what you will want to use. This second switch is for setting the region, either PAL or NTSC. So set it to your region. I live in the US, so I will set it to NTSC. Even if you set this region, you can still generate other regions signal in cores that have that option. After configuring the adapter, Take it and plug it into the VGA port on the analog I.O. board. I'm using this extension because I personally don't like the way the adapter hangs from my Mr. without it. Take an S-Video cable and plug it into the adapter. And plug the other end to a television's S-Video port. If you are using composite, then use a composite cable to connect the adapter. And to the television. Reset your Mr. for the INI changes to take effect then turn on your television and you're ready to play some games. Not every core will support S video output, so don't expect this to work everywhere. As far as image quality is concerned, it can vary. The model, size, age of TV, and other factors can affect image quality. I feel that on my smaller 13 inch television, composite looks amazing. And to me, looks better than my 20 inch television when connected to composite too. The 20 inch television, a Panasonic Tau series, has component inputs and can produce a sharper image so it can probably bring out the flaws of composite more. Here are some side by side image quality comparisons between composite, S video and component. It's difficult to record CRTs but I hope you get an idea on how things might look. Here's something interesting that I noticed. When I was younger, I only played games using either RF or composite, never owned a CRT television with S video or component. I was surprised to see that the tricks developer used to simulate transparency and smooth out colors don't work as well in S video as they do in composite. I expected it with component, but it was surprising to see it with S video. You can see that the waterfall in Sonic the Hedgehog isn't transparent with S video and the alternating water lines are noticeable. I had no idea S-Video could be this sharp, but component is noticeably sharper than S-Video. The S-Video sharpness might be due to this television being designed for component inputs. Here's another example with Final Fantasy IX for PlayStation. The fog gradient is much smoother with composite and dithering is much more noticeable with S-Video and component. And here's another fog example with Silent Hill. If you use S-Video, Please let me know in the comments if you can also see dithering in games. Here's a nice little bonus if you have an adapter with both composite and S-Video connections. You can output video to HDMI, composite, and S-Video at the same time. I personally do not have a use case for this, but it was fun trying it out. There are two versions of the adapter, an active adapter and a passive one. 
I feel that the active adapter is a must if you are going to use composite because it gives you a much cleaner signal, but it does require power to get that cleaner signal. There are two ways to power the adapter. You can either set the VGA jumper on your analog IO to five volts. If not, then there's a USB-C port that you can use to give it external power. If you're using S video, then either the passive or active adapter will be fine. No need to use external power. You should know that not all vendors are using Mike Simone's exact reference design. They usually customize it for their region or customers they serve, but they all provide the same function of plugging an adapter to the VGA port that allows you to connect to a television with us video. I'll provide a list of vendors in the description. So that's how you use us video and composite on your Mr. FPGA. You can also use the adapter over HDMI using direct video. Direct video will give you some improved image quality in the PlayStation Core due to the higher bandwidth of the HDMI port. I'll be releasing a separate video dedicated to direct video and also another video that lets you accomplish this without an adapter. So look out for those in the future. I would also like to thank Mike Simone, developer Sorge, and any other developers involved in bringing this feature to the Mr. FPGA project. There are a lot of CRTs out there that can only support as video or composite as their best connections. So this will give us more options to play our games with. So are you planning on using as video or composite? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and it's bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.